My dear friends, have you noticed in the recent years how fast cancer is spreading? Today each one of us knows someone or a friend or a friend of a friend who is suffering from this terrible disease. Cancer has spread very fast over the past 10 years. 10 years ago, we never heard about its prevalence as we do now. And I believe that one of the very important aspects behind this is our climate. You see, if I put it in simple form, this earth has, is made up largely of water. And water exists in solid, liquid and vapor form. And the balance of solid, liquid and vapor creates an atmosphere that allows the rays of the sun that are coming to the earth to be filtered. And only the positive um, nourishing rays are allowed to reach our ecosystem. The harmful rays are filtered out. But as a result of the change in our climate, we have altered this balance. We have altered this very delicate balance. And as a result, the harmful rays of the sun are now breaking through and reaching our environment, affecting our livestock, our cattle, animals, plants, water. And as a result, as we consume this food, as we also receive these damaging rays, we find that it alters our state of our bodies and hence cancer is one of the outcomes. So while people out in parliaments and in governments and all these high powered institutions sit there and debate whether climate change is real or not, the evidence before us is staggering. I mean we can see how weather patterns have changed so much. We can see floods happening in places where they never did. We can see deserts forming and yet we are so blind that we still have to debate basic reality. Now people like you and us, we're ordinary people and we can't wait for leaders to take this step. We, as normal human beings who have the right to a clean, healthy environment for us and our children and their children, it's up to us to take charge. Now how can we do that? You see, one of the gifts that we have all been blessed with is power of thought. It's one of our most underestimated power that each one of us possesses. None of us is helpless as we often feel we are. Through our power of thought, we are able to affect change. And through collective power of thought, we can affect major change. i give you an example. Today, if I said to you, Go and share the message on the importance of climate change with two people every day and encourage those two to share it with two others every day. If you work out the simple mathematics, this world with a population of 7 billion can be reached in as little as 32 days. So that is the power of collective thought. And power of collective thought becomes consciousness. And consciousness can shift anything. Um, we're going down to uh, Chile, in South America, to the southernmost step, and we're going to hold the meditation for world peace and climate restoration and climate preservation. So a group of us is going to go out there and we are going to meditate in the midst of a pristine environment, nature, wildlife, the beautiful people of Chile. And at the same time, people from all over the world are going to join us from wherever they are during that 24 hour period to give us the power of their thoughts, to share their positive energy so that collectively we can create this shift in consciousness which will gradually bring about positive change in our environment and in our climate. I really hope that you will, each one of us, join us towards contributing your seeds, your power of thought with us, with that one objective, that we want to shift towards climate protection, climate preservation, climate restoration, and shift towards a positive, healthy environment 
for us now and for generations to come. Thank you and God bless you all.